Hi, my name is Connor Riley, and on this week's Connor and Coverage, I'm here to talk about why all stars matter, but some stars matter more than others. This week, Bud Elliott unveiled his annual blue chip ratio update, essentially letting everyone know how many blue chip players, four or five star prospects, are on each team's roster. It's important to note that since modern recruiting rankings have become reliable, roughly around the 2008-2007 range, every team that has won a national championship has had the roster made up of 50% or more blue chip players. Georgia proved that to be the case a season ago when a staggering 80% of its roster was made up of former four-star or five-star recruits. And so the numbers have been retabulated as players cycle onto the NFL draft and new recruiting classes come in. And once again, Georgia is near the top of these ratio rankings, coming in at 77%, third overall in the country. We'll get into what that matters more a little bit later in comparison to other schools. But the biggest thing to know, first of all, is when it comes to Georgia's roster, they're still well above that 50% threshold and thus have a way larger margin of error compared to some of the other teams on their schedule. Georgia does see three other teams during the regular season that made the 50% threshold. Oregon at 60%, Florida at 60%, and Auburn at 54%. But having such a wide gap over the rest of the competition there is going to make things easier for Georgia. As we know, injuries, dismissals, bumps and bruises that occur over the course of the season, evaluations not panning out. Those all sort of lead to things in, in seasons not going the way people envisioned. When you have as much talent made up as Georgia does, it makes that easier to overcome. The second interesting part is the teams ahead of Georgia in these blue chip ratio. Ohio State comes in at 80%, just barely ahead of where Georgia sits. But it's the team that's first that should give you some pause. Alabama's roster is now made up of 89% blue chip prospects. It's the highest ever since Elliott has begun doing this exercise. It's important to note that Alabama's 2018 class, a drop off from where it has been historically, has now mostly cycled out of that program and Alabama has continued to recruit at an incredibly high level. Last season, Alabama once again had the highest blue chip ratio at 84%. But that margin of error between Georgia and Alabama grew from 4% a season ago to now 12%. We saw this past season just the importance of having so much talent as Jamison Williams and John Mechie weren't able to play in the national championship game. Maybe this year Alabama can do a better job of developing those blue chip prospects. That way at the end of the season when they do have to be called upon, they'll be ready to step in and play there. The third thing we want to talk about with these rankings is the number eight. That's how many three-star recruits Georgia took in last year's recruiting cycle. And it's part of the reason why Georgia shifted down from 80% a year ago to 77%. And in comparison to Alabama, in the last three recruiting classes, the Crimson Tide have taken just nine three-star recruits. But of course, three-star recruits still make up and make big plays for Georgia, as we've seen Jordan Davis, the famous three-star who went on to be a first-round draft pick. Eric Stokes fits that category as well. Adonai Mitchell was a three-star prospect, and that didn't stop him from catching the go-ahead touchdown in the national championship game. I know three-star prospects don't get the glitz and glamour that the higher-rated prospects do, but I think this Georgia coaching staff has earned the right to be trusted when it comes to identifying these prospects that aren't seen as highly rated by the various recruiting ranking services. Georgia still signs enough four and five star recruits to win a national championship. It's a big reason why even after losing 15 players to the NFL draft and 13 to the transfer portal, Georgia's still going to be one of the favorites to win the national title this year. But when you combine those four and five star prospects that Georgia hoards with the ability to develop lower rated prospects that are rated as three stars and such, it gives Georgia a perfect reason why it's one of the best teams in college football on an annual basis and why they won the national championship last year and are in position to potentially do it again this coming season. This has been a Dog Nation production. My name is Connor Riley.